Two at six, an alarming health trend impacting a lot of women across our area. Syphilis skyrocketing in Houston. Good evening, I'm Keith Garvin. Thank you for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. Well, the Houston Health Department is calling the sharp rise in cases of the sexually transmitted disease an outbreak. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota live in Sunnyside, where a community meeting was held today about this. Andy? Danny Keith, a number of medical directors from some of the community-based health clinics attended that meeting here today at the Sunnyside Health and Multi-Service Center, along with members of the Harris County and Fort Bend County Health Departments. Of all the cases Harris uh, Houston health officials are seeing, it's predominantly women of color who were most impacted. Nationally, there's been an uptick in syphilis cases, and health officials here say in many ways Houston is no different when it comes to what's happening in many major urban areas across the country right now. As a large urban jurisdiction, we've got to be really aggressive in our response when we see these kinds of cases because we have millions of people who may be at risk. Since 2016, syphilis cases in women have increased by 128 percent. New infections rose from 1,845 in 2019 to nearly 3,000 in 2022. Cases involving women who pass the infection onto their baby during pregnancy soaring from 16 cases in 2016 to 151 in 2021. To see the numbers rise in this alarming rate really sounded the alarm for us. Houston health officials urging pregnant women to seek prenatal care and syphilis testing to protect themselves from an infection that could result in the death of their babies. Untreated syphilis during pregnancy can result in a stillbirth. We're waiving fees, so we want to encourage folks to come in and get services. Local health officials say they're seeing a lot of co-infections of HIV with syphilis, along with gonorrhea and chlamydia. The health department is working with medical providers and collaborating with its community-based partners to increase awareness of the outbreak and enhance testing and treatment in Houston neighborhoods. Some hot spots that health officials are watching include areas of southwest Houston and some areas up on the north side. Syphilis, we were told, is easily treated with antibiotics. If you have questions about testing, you can call the Houston Health Department hotline. That number is 832-393-5010. Live in Sunnyside tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. All right, Andy. Houston has a syphilis problem, and apparently it's only getting worse. And Carlisa Rivas here with their plan of attack, Elisa. Yeah, when people hear the word syphilis, it certainly doesn't spark a conversation that they think they are going to like at all. And this really got our attention because the health department says there has been a whopping 128% increase in syphilis cases in women. There were 674 cases reported last year. That's compared to 295 cases reported just four years ago. The health department attributes that rise largely to pregnant women who are passing the bacteria onto their babies. They need to test uh, at their first prenatal visit. They need to test at their third trimester and at delivery. An early case will usually present as a painless sore that's easily treated with an antibiotic, but without treatment, it can progress to the point of internal organ damage. Syphilis can't be diagnosed by symptoms alone, and that's why testing is key. It's real important to go find out. Let's find out if you are negative or positive, and if you feel you're at this risk, then ask your provider or come to our clinics. The health department says it is waiving the fees for STD testing because of this surge, Eric. All right, today is Friday, is August 25th, the year is 2023. So, people are going to have sex, y'all. They're going to have sex. People are going to have sex. Sex has been around for decades. I mean, sex is as, as it is a is it is is part of us being human beings. Sex is a vital part of our health. It is important that you do have sex. People are gonna have sex. It's inevitable. Young, old, white, black, straight, gay people are going to have sex. That's fine. Have sex. Enjoy sex. 
I like sex just like much as anybody else. I know some of y'all must think, oh, I was supposed to be the perfect angel. So, no, no, I have sex. What are y'all thinking about? But, uh, but with sex, you also have to take care of your sexual health. If you're having sex, if you're having sex, I don't care who you're having sex with. I don't care if it's your husband, your boyfriend, Joe from around the way. If you are participating in sex, and I don't care who your sexual partner is, you must take care of your sexual health. What does that mean? That means going into your doctor's office or health department or wherever and making sure that you get tested regularly for STDs, STIs, or whatever you want to call it. That's something that should be done regularly. I don't care who you're fucking. You might have been married 30 years. You still go get tested, dummies. You must get tested. Your sexual health is your sexual health. If you're married, single, whatever, relationship, you must go get tested. I don't care if y'all are using condoms. I don't care if you're on birth control. I don't care what the situation is. You, If you are participating in sex, this is common sense, y'all. This is why these this as syphilis outbreak is so bad in Houston. They're not going to the health department taking care of this. They're not going to the doctors or health department taking care of your sexual health. They're not doing it. When I go to my doctor's office here in Atlanta, I met a doctor that I've been for him in a couple of years. Now, my previous doctor, I was with her for 25 years. She retired. Well, I was a sad occasion. I heard she was retired. I was like, oh, Lord, I got to go find a whole new doctor. I'm like, Woo. You know, you've been with somebody for that damn long. It's like, okay, I got to go find another doctor. They referred me to this doctor. Luckily, he agreed to accept me as a patient. But one thing I noticed at his office, they test you for STDs. Everyone gets tested. If you're coming in for lab work or blood work or any type of work, they test you. Everyone gets tested. Everybody. It's automatic or they just check it off the list. Okay, we tested for this. We do that. This office, we test everybody. How these women are having babies being born in Texas, and not just Texas, having a lot of other places, and these women are, are, are contracting STD, contracting syphilis either while pregnant or before they got pregnant, but they're supposed to test a woman three times for syphilis during the course of her pregnancy. Three times they test. They're supposed to. Doctors with their doctor. If you're going to a regular doctor's appointment, three times. They're supposed to test women who are pregnant three times during the course of their pregnancy for uh, syphilis and other STDs to make sure that everything's okay before this baby is born. Obviously, these women, aren't, these women who are having these babies are not going to doctor's appointments. You have a huge outbreak of syphilis in Houston because that's, they're not going to get People are not taking care of their sexual health. They having sex. They fucking. <laughs> yeah. Everybody fucking, 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 fucking. But they're not going to the doctor. They're not going to the doctor saying, all right, run my labs. Test me for everything. Make sure everything's good. So I didn't know I didn't fuck Johnny, Mark, David, Anthony, Josiah, Jotarvius, <laughs> Ben. Uh, or the only person I've been having sex with is my husband. Should I be tested for STDs? Yes, dumb, your dumb ass. That even any question. You must get tested. I don't care if this is your only sexual partner. You don't know what that nigga didn't did. And the same with men. You go into a doctor's office. I only been having sex with my wife. You don't know where she's been and what she's done. Go get tested. You must get tested. If you fucking, if you having sex, if you are participating in sex at all, you must take care of yourself, sexual health, by getting tested and treated. If you have an STD, that resolves this problem. Outbreak resolved. <clears throat> yeah, use condom, use protection. Y'all yeah, ain't doing it any damn way, so. What difference does it make? Y'all ain't nobody hitting by you no damn kind of thing. Put them down the way. I only fuck with one person. Get tested. Get treated. Can't be that damn hard. <laughs> Can't be. 
Well, I, y'all, literally for years, I got tested every quarterly for STDs quarterly. I go on down to the um, whatever place it was, positive, positive impact. They have different names here. They switch names. Quarterly, I may have my birthday. Oh, let me go test it. I test for everything. I'm having sex. I'd be a fool to sit here and not and lower myself into thinking, oh, I don't have anything. I, I, you know, I just had sex with Johnny. And Johnny and I, we just, we just love each other. Okay, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> test my ass. I, would, I can test it for HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, swab, swipe, throat swabs, anal swabs, round the ball swabs, everything, like going in, look, I mean, everything fine. I can spread them cheeks and see what's going on down there. I'm 53 years of age. So far, I've been relatively lucky. I don't know, I couldn't tell you why. But I've never had an STD, a sexual transfer disease in my entire life, entire life. Now I have had hepatitis B, but we could not determine if that was from sex, because I wouldn't have sex with nobody at the time I contracted a, a, a hepatitis B. I have an idea how I got it, though. <laughs> yeah, I got a good idea how I ended up with hepatitis B, and it wasn't from sex. I was not that lucky. However, I'm going to talk about that one day, just why it's important if you, if you you using steroids, please use new needles. Don't ever go to somebody's house to get a shot and they don't, and they reuse the needles. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. It could have been much worse. I was very young and stupid at that time. Now I know you have to buy your own needles and you do those are new needles that you did to be used one time and thrown in the trash. But I don't know. Um, I have a electrician that's running around here making sure he can get them doors up. Anyway, I'm switching out some lights over here. We had put in some recess cans in here. For some reason, these recess cans start flashing. You turn on the lights, they flash flashing like a disco. I mean, the damn dogs dance. Like, what the fuck going on? They're like flashing lights. I'm like, flashlights, yeah. And I'm like, was it the, the house that turned into a disco or something? This house hunted or something? It turns out that, that many of these recess cans that we put throughout this house were defective. So then we got to take them out, put in new cans. Let's get this fucking house. People now, oh yeah, it's a bad one. You gotta replace this one, and 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 this one. And you should take free. <laughs> Y'all, I've had enough. You turn on the lights, the lights is flashing, flashing, flashlight. You know, like that, and turn on the music. What's going on here? Is, uh, is the house, is it a haunted house or something? Tell us to dance or something? I'm like, we need to dog, we just dance, have a good old time. No, it's defective ass. Expensive as we said, scans we put in here. Now we got to replace these motherfuckers you know, over it. So we run around pulling out the cans, looking at them, see which ones defective, replacing them. And then we put like 50, 60 recess cans throughout this house. He <laughs> came, came in, I told him about the flash lights. He said, Oh, that's not good. He came and looked at it. Oh, shit, he's getting damn things doing in bed. And that's been, you know, we had it for a year. And I don't know how to pull them damn things out of the place. He said, well, you can take my, I said, I don't know how to do this shit. I've been burned down this house. Click, I'll pay you whatever needs to be paid to replace these cans. Just go get them and let's put them up and replace them and be done with it. I need to paint this kitchen too. I wish I had a good painter to come in and paint this damn kitchen and drive me up a fucking wall. I want to add a color to this kitchen. I just need a good painter to come in here, clean, paint, clean up, leave, leave me the fuck alone, get the hell out. I'm 53 years of age. I've lost a lot of friends to various ailments that have run through our communities. I'm HIV negative. 
be no big deal. If, 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 even if, if if I did have HIV, they got great medications out there, y'all. They got some excellent medicines out there. It's not as serious as it used to be. It's serious if you ain't taking that medication. But if you're taking your medication, you will be fine. That's all. I mean, just take your damn medication. Why is this thing spinning? I don't know how to respond to that. Uh, well, I know. You better not be listening to our nosy business. You know it's a heifer. Um, get tested. Get treated. If you're having sex, and I don't care where you live, I don't care who you're having sex with, I don't care, you must get tested. I have had people walk into this home, sit here, and buy supplements from me and say they haven't been to a doctor's office in 20 years. I said, 20 years? Well, I ain't no reason to. I'm in good health. And I'm looking at this nigga thinking, you ain't been to a doctor. I said, well, I said so wait a minute. What, what, do you do? what do you do about, um, do you go get tested for STD? For what? I ain't, I ain't got nothing. How, how do you know you don't have anything? You ain't been to a doctor's office in 20 motherfucking years? Y'all, yeah, I've had so many people walk through this door and say they ain't been to a doctor's office in over 20 fucking years. I said, how do you know what your blood pressure is? How do you know if you have any health? Like, I'm fine. I ain't got nothing going on. It's a maintenance ass motherfuckers. How would you know this? You don't go get a regular checkup? I sit back in shock. I can believe people are this ignorant. They are that ignorant too. Ain't been to a doctor in 20 years. You ain't got an STD test in 20 years. You ain't did nothing. You just walk around just a ticking time bomb. Then y'all let them fuck these motherfuckers. Oh, Johnny, fine as hell. I can't wait. And Johnny ain't been to a doctor in God knows how long. 20 years. You don't know what he got. And y'all let him get pregnant by this food. So it's important that you take care of your sexual health. I have to take care of my sexual health. Y'all went through hell on earth just to try to get this aptitude, which is a injectable um, prep. Because I don't want to do the prep pills. I'm on prep. The pills, I had to get switched for that generic didn't work. I had to force them to give me the name brand pills, which I have now. I'm fine with those, but I'm trying to get, I've gone, this is now August. I've been trying to do this since December. Trying to get injectable prep. I don't want to take the pills. I just want to have injections. I like shots. You can just give my shots. I do my own damn shots. Yeah, I know how to do shots to help me. I've been injecting myself with testosterone for over 20 years now. 20 years I've been using testosterone. Over 20 years. So. Get tested. Get treated. And see, that's what's not happening in Houston. I don't know what has happened along the way when it comes to uh, people going to the doctor's office or going to a clinic to get treated. I've never met some people who are so much anti-medicine, anti-doctor, and you cannot treat syphilis with cranberry juice and vitamins. You have to have an antibiotic to, to, to resolve that issue. It's not that hard to do. Um, it's not complicated. Your sexual health is important. If you don't take care of your sexual health, you're not going to work. see these damn stupid ass cans in this house. There's always something in the house. You about to have some money. You buy a house. You better have some damn money because you never know what you're going to run into. And I show when the kid thought a year later after we repeat the recess can like you come back here try, taking them out throwing them in the dumpster and put new ones in. And that's what's happening. Defective. Of course, you know, there ain't no warranty in these damn things. I was like, yeah. Can we take back to the stories and now nah, you just throw them by new and throw them away? Hmm. 
if I only if I only knew what I knew now, I wouldn't I wouldn't um anyway. Anyway, it's gonna be a short little video. Uh, I just wanna talk about that, y'all. Yeah, I gotta use the bathroom real bad. I mean, ooh, Lord, this coffee working this morning. So today is Friday, August 25th, the year 2023. Get tested, get tested, get treated, get tested, get treated, get tested, get treated, get tested. Get tested. How can we, this can't be that hard, y'all. Walk your answers to your doctor's office, a local health clinic, and say, I need to get tested for every goddamn thing. I ain't been a doctor since 20 years. I wanna get, I get tested for, I get my blood pressure checked, swab, I get tested for, and treated, well, tested and treated if I have anything, I get treated for it. Um, last time I ran labs, my vitamin B levels and vitamin D levels were low. So they gave me injectable vitamin B, which I take that vitamin B, baby. When I take that vitamin B, mm. when I take that injectable vitamin B, it is the best day on my on planet Earth for that day. I mean, for the next 48 hours, 24 hours at least, it's like, I, I, don't, I, I was like, can I take vitamin B every day? Gosh, I need this for like this every damn day. And that having that vitamin D pill, oh Lord, it's a doozy. You take that pill, oh gosh, mm -mm. I've had a tough, tough time taking that vitamin D pill because it makes me feel so. Blah. But anyway, today is Friday, is August twenty fifth, the year is two thousand and twenty three. Get tested, get treated. Don't walk around here thinking I ain't got nothing. You won't know if you're not going into a clock doctor's office or a clinic to get tested. This is this will resolve these outbreaks. Y'all know y'all fucking. In many cases, without a condom. These women ain't got pregnant up through osmosis. Jesus ain't got all these women pregnant. I mean, not Jesus, but God, or whoever had, had Mother Mary, with all that bullshit. They're about these niggas and fucking women, and they. The, 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 the men are having sex with these women. These men are not getting tested and treated. These women are having sex with these men, and obviously, they're not getting tested and treated. They're pregnant, having birth to women, babies that are being brought into this world with syphilis. What kind of shit is this? Kind of crazy. And this could be avoided. Get tested and treated for whatever you're dealing with. I mean, it's just that simple. They have great medications out there. Anyway, I gotta use the bathroom. Today is Friday, August 25th, the year 2023. I'm out of here. Like they're about to pay for this stuff. I gotta do a phone pay through home people. I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Friday.